Let's talk about your Android phone. You use it every day for calls, texts, social media, maybe some gaming. But what if I told you it could become a potent digital spy device? No complex coding or sketchy malware needed. Open source intelligence tools can transform your phone into an investigator's toolkit. These tools are getting more sophisticated and easier to use. The line between everyday tech and specialized intelligence is blurring. This isn't about cloak and dagger stuff. It's about understanding the digital trails we all leave. It's pretty fascinating and eye-opening. Stick around and you'll see your phone in a completely different way. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about a tool called Sherlock. Imagine you have a username. Sherlock scans over a hundred platforms to see where else it pops up. You feed it the username and it goes to work, checking for profiles under that same name. It helps map out a person's digital trail, showing you the various corners of the internet they inhabit. This can be incredibly revealing, painting a broader picture of an individual's online presence. Think about trying to identify or verify someone. Sherlock can help you see if that username is consistently used elsewhere. It's a tool for peeling back a layer of anonymity, helping you understand who or what might be behind a particular username. Next on the list is Phone Infoga. This tool gathers publicly available information related to a specific phone number. It can tell you the country the number is registered in, the carrier, and whether it's a mobile, landline, or VoIP number. This basic information alone can be quite telling. For instance, knowing a number is VoIP might make you more cautious if it's presented as a personal mobile number. It can also sometimes find if any email addresses have been publicly associated with that phone number. One common use is tracing scam calls or suspicious texts. It's vital to use such tools responsibly and legally, respecting privacy and only for legitimate ethical reasons. Now let's talk about Google dorking right from the Chrome browser on your Android phone. Google dorking involves using advanced search operators to find specific information that isn't readily apparent through normal searches. By crafting specific search queries, you can potentially find things like exposed login portals, publicly accessible webcams, or lists of files. You're not hacking anything. You're using Google's own indexing capabilities to find what's already out there. The purpose of knowing about this technique is for awareness, understanding how data can be exposed and how to protect your own systems. It's absolutely not for attempting to exploit vulnerabilities or access systems without authorization. Let's shift gears to images. Every time you snap a photo with your Android phone, a bunch of extra information gets embedded into the image file itself. This is called EXIF data, exchangeable image file format. EXIF data can include the exact GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken, the make and model of the camera or phone used, the date and time, and camera settings. This has some practical OSINT applications. For instance, if you're trying to verify the authenticity of a photo or confirm where it was taken, the GPS data in the EXIF can be invaluable. However, this also highlights a crucial privacy aspect. If you're sharing photos online, you might be unknowingly broadcasting your location or other sensitive details. An EXIF viewer on your phone can help you check what data your own photos contain before you share them. Let's tackle something we all encounter daily, links, specifically those suspicious shortened URLs or links from unknown sources. Clicking blindly can lead you down a rabbit hole of phishing scams or malware-infected sites. Thankfully, your Android phone can be equipped with tools like URL unshorteners and link scanners. Instead of directly clicking on a dubious link, you copy the shortened or suspicious URL and paste it into one of these services. The unshortener will reveal the full original destination URL. This is incredibly useful for avoiding phishing scams. Tools like VirusTotal take it a step further by scanning URLs using multiple antivirus engines to check if it's known for hosting malware or engaging in phishing. Teaching yourself to be cautious and to use these tools before clicking unknown links is a fundamental skill for navigating the modern web safely from your phone. Now for a tool often dubbed the search engine for hackers, Shodan. Shodan indexes devices and services connected to the internet. You can find a vast array of Internet of Things IoT devices, 
webcams, routers, servers, smart home devices, and more. It crawls the internet looking for these devices and grabs their banner information. You can perform searches using specific filters to find devices with default passwords still active, which is a huge security risk. While Shodan is a legitimate tool used by security researchers, accessing devices without authorization is illegal and unethical. The purpose of knowing about Shodan is to understand the landscape of connected devices and the potential privacy and security implications. We've talked about EXIF data and images, but what about other file types? Documents, PDFs, videos, audio files, these can also contain hidden metadata. Tools like Metadata2Go.com allow you to upload various file types and dissect the information embedded within them. This expands your OSINT capabilities beyond just photos. For example, if a document claims to be an official release from a certain date, but the metadata shows it was created much later, that could be a red flag. In investigations, analyzing the metadata of leaked documents or multimedia files can provide crucial clues about their source or handling. Using these online analyzers from your phone makes it convenient to quickly check a file you've received or are about to share. Ever landed on a website and wondered what technology is powering it? Tools like whatcms.org or builtwith.com can act as website detectives. These services analyze various signatures of a website to identify if a site is running on WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Shopify, or other CMS platforms. They can also detect programming languages, web servers, and analytics tools. For web developers, it's a great way to see what technologies successful sites are using. For security researchers, Knowing the tech stack can help identify potential vulnerabilities. It's a simple lookup that can reveal a surprising amount of technical detail, all from your phone. Emails are a cornerstone of our digital lives, and they can be a rich source for open source intelligence. Tools like Have I Been Pwned check if an email has appeared in a data breach. Hunter.io helps find professional email addresses associated with a specific company or website. Emailrep.io gives a reputation score for an email address, indicating if it's associated with spam or phishing. It's important to stress the ethical use of these tools. Looking up whether an email has been in a data breach can be legitimate for risk assessment. These tools are powerful for understanding digital footprints and potential risks, but they must be wielded with a strong sense of responsibility and respect for privacy. Google Lens is a surprisingly effective OSINT tool built into many Android phones. Its power lies in visual search, the ability to analyze an image and provide information about what it depicts. You can point Google Lens at a landmark and it will try to identify it and provide historical context. You can use it on an object and it might find product pages or information about it. One relevant OSINT use case is in spotting fake or reused profile pictures. If you encounter an online profile that seems suspicious, you can take a screenshot of the profile picture and run it through Google Lens. It might find other instances of that image online, perhaps revealing it's a stock photo or an image lifted from someone else's social media. Google Lens reinforces just how much information can be gleaned from a single image. Open source intelligence isn't some arcane art reserved for shadowy figures. It's a genuine digital superpower, and with the tools we've discussed, your Android phone effectively becomes a pocket-sized intelligence gathering device. The ability to find, collate, and analyze publicly available information has never been more accessible to the average person. However, with this digital superpower comes immense responsibility. The ability to uncover information about individuals, organizations, or systems must be wielded ethically and legally. Stay curious, keep learning, but always prioritize ethical conduct. So there you have it, a deep dive into some of the best OSINT tools and techniques you can leverage right from your Android phone. We've covered everything from unmasking usernames with Sherlock and decoding phone numbers with phone infoga to advanced Google dorking. It's clear that your smartphone is capable of much more than you might initially think. The digital world is vast and the trails of information are everywhere. These tools simply help you see and interpret those trails more effectively. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and stay curious.